2024 LUN SSV16 modifications. What we have done to the boat since I got it. You can see what a little bit of the interior looks like. Let me give you the tour. In the front of the boat, we have a pedestal seat and an anchor box that holds 250 feet of line. As you work your way down, we have a cup holder on one side of the boat a little storage on the other side. Another pedestal mount with two rod holders. Two right side up rod holders. Our custom drop in floor with custom shelves. The fish barrel. Some uh, little cubbies to hold odds and ends. It also holds the net. A little cubby to hold weights. All our tackle. Some more right side up rod holders. Some more mounted, flush mounted rod holders. As we work our way in, more of that shelving. My custom control panel, running lights, bilge pump, interior cab, cabin lights, and barrel pump. Took the side supports, made rod holders out of it to hold two seven foot one piece rods. The driving seat, where under battery storage that also holds the air horn. Bilge pump. Another seat mount. Some more rod holders. A Hummingbird 143, just to tell the depth. Cutting board. That also holds a six gallon gas tank underneath it and a glove box. Some more storage to hold more tackle and whatever safety equipment I need. All LED navigation lights with a brand new 40 horse long shaft 2024 Yamaha. Oh, I can't forget the gaff. Gaff storage holding. The boat is pretty much done and ready for the new 2024 fishing season. They'll eventually show up in New England. All that's left is to name it. And put the registration numbers honor the name will be revealed in the spring <laughs>